You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Welcome to Living Nightmare After Hours. With me in studio today, Commissioner Brandon Madden and special guest, Commissioner of the Wicked Wars League, the gold standard himself, Melvin fucking Mayhem. Melvin. Motherfucking Mayhem. Get it right, Flip. Yes. (laughs) Sorry. Brandon. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> Brandon Melvin, welcome to the show. How's it going? What's going on? Oh, not much. You know what? This is uh, the home of the Bronze Conqueror. This is the home of the Knights of the Bronze. Uh, just to put it out there, you know, want to make sure the other uh, uh, commissioner bums that we recorded with earlier know, you know, oh, where shit. the cha- where, where the champions are, where the champions are. Yes, no disrespect to the other two Bronze Age leagues. No, no, they no. they can't they can't help it that their guys can't hold on to the or can't capture the Bronze Age titles. You know, no, you, you know what? I honestly thought Marchand and uh, the UNL was gonna you know just you know take over and you know run run house from here on in because that's the UNL for crying out loud. And then you know Sadaku goes and puts a spell on Marshan has him speaking in tongues i mean did you see you know Marshan he was I, he was going I'll wild you, the, the last time i saw the hitman he was picking his teeth up off the floor oh poor guy oh man well glad glad to be here in the living nightmare league with uh with the cast of champions home of the champions and uh so uh what are we on so let me, hey let me say something pretty cool here because you know, we've had a lot of guests, you know, Catfish Rob, you know, lots of legendary guests on here that uh, have, uh, you know, been in the league way longer than me. But today, I believe we have a former commissioner, right? You commissioned the LNL. Is that correct? Uh, I was there at the beginning. This is um the beginning of the league. I believe Lee Mackle was the one who started the league and he needed some help with his reports. And I jumped in. So I was like co-commissioning for the first few cycles. And then he gave it to, um, I believe it was Evelyn Francis at the time. I helped her for a couple of cycles. And then after that, I have no idea what happened to the league. And so <laughs> I think after, I think after that uh, is when uh, commissioner uh, Scott Anderson took it. And yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's will, pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm an alumni. Yeah, there we that's go. Awesome. Now, um, I, I know we got a lot to talk about in terms of the crossover. So I want to run through the champions real quick so we can kind of, uh, get into the LNL action and speak a little bit about the crossover coming. Uh, no one is safe. That's uh, no one. Uh, Morbius. Will you be use this. You, you know what? You don't know Morbius, the LNL. He's made a living, you know, here, you know, staying alive is his business. So the resident, nice guy, vampire, the nice vampire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. March of 2020. A uh, nightmare champion, long time coming. Uh, one of the vampire hunters, uh, Blade, the vampire yeah. hunter himself. He's been on a roll lately. He's you know also what? I, anarchy champion. How 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 silly is this that I just teased him on one of the other shows about how uh, poorly he's doing in uh, <laughs> in, the, in the other bronze, and he's like really I, oh fuck me. A uh, paranormal champion from the battle royal, the legend herself, Foxwoman <laughs> Santana. Uh, Emilyville champion, also from the Battle Royal, Queen Malati. The Sith girls getting it done around here. Uh, Crystal Lake champion from the Battle Royal, uh, Patient Y. Uh, Elm Street champion, probably my uh, favorite one of the Skeksis, uh, Skexel. Uh, Black Lagoon champion, uh, Patient X, probably the ugliest one of the patients. That's uh, saying something. Camp- Cap Arnwalk <laughs> champion, uh, ooh, the legend himself again. Look at him, Catfish Rob, doing work this cycle. Transylvania champion from the Battle Royal. Dude, how many people <clears throat> spend that dollar this cycle? My goodness. I like everybody, it. Everybody scored. Uh, Swamp Monster also bringing home a uh, title from the Battle Royal. Haunted Hill champion, Sam I Am in the Sam flesh. for three cycles in a row. <laughs> What is anybody challenging him? I know I challenged him. Why should I even say that? <laughs> Shit. Uh, Sleepy Hollows champion from the Battle Royal, Huntress Vestara. Did you have you ever looked at these girls? Which one is the better looking one of these? Which one should die first? Uh, Salem's Lot champion, uh, the Collector. 
Salmon the Collector. <sighs> dude, when you got a one win and bring... Dude, you got... Yeah. You're making, doing something right. You're doing some kind of... <laughs> uh, yeah, see, uh, this is this is a worthy champion here the crypt champion the safest man in the living nightmare league morbius safest not going anywhere for now apocalypse uh, tag team champions uh the huntress <laughs> and the duchess the sith you know what ever since the sith have came back the tag scene has uh taken a turn for the worse so hopefully uh they can make a nice run this year and uh dethrone Frankenstein and those uh, patients. Nice. Uh, Doomsday Tag Team Champions. Akumasaki and Misasaki. Sounds like I'm speaking Gungam. <laughs> uh, Slaughterhouse, a six man champion. Yes! Uh -oh. Live and let live. Squeaky, Morbius, <laughs> and Big <Bigfoot. laughs> the, br the bravest team in the league. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Nightmare TV six man <laughs> champions, the Huntress, the Duchess, and Queen, the Sith uh, females here doing work. And Battle Royal winner, the legendary Foxwoman Santana. Congratulations. Oh man. Well you don't like my you don't like my stable initials there, Commissioner? <laughs> <laughs> I got. I gotta say. I gotta say, Flip. I love how you. You know. You. You accurately pronounce these champion names when you're on this show. Because when you're on my podcast, completely butcher them on purpose. So what? It, it, it's nice to see you don't do it on every show. But continue. It's all. It's all those hours of research I make Flip do before we record the hell and hell podcast. Man, you're on to something there. You know what? You should you should really listen to the UNL podcast that we did yesterday because that was about uh -oh. six pack in, and yeah, <laughs> well, I'm gonna go check, check that out. Go check that one out. That's about how I am when I'm recording with you. So. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Gives me something to look forward to. Good, yeah, good. So I'm only on number two right now. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. It's uh, you know, so you, you had to see it not not too long ago, Brandon. We did a podcast, and I think it took like 20 minutes to get through the first three champions on the title. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good times, good times. Uh, okay, so so since since we're all in uh, in good spirits, let's talk a little about this uh, this crossover. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, Sadaku is you know. A witch in her own bright, and you know, she, is she the one that caused this crossover? She, but well, uh, well, no, we're still we don't really know exactly how we're st still kind of trying to figure out how uh, mayhem entered into the LNL world. Yes. Um, but uh, as we can see with Balin, so Balin obviously is a tyrant, and you know, just uh, filled with hate and stuff. But he's obviously not the smartest cat around because. You can see how people keep manipulating him over the last few cycles. Mm -hmm. And he was talking with Mayhem this, this cycle, you can read, and he was basically, you know, Mayhem's like, hey, you know, we could do this thing, you know, blah, 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 blah. So he's almost talked himself out of get, getting out of jail free card, you know, so. Got, it's, got, uh, got how to gift the gab, the gift the gab. Yes, gift the gab. And just to touch on that, just as far as how he ended up there, um, Essentially, what had happened was, and, and Flip, you know this, it was going through, this was alluding to the time where he mentioned that we were getting rid of certain characters in the WWL. I call them Cretans for those listening. And, <laughs> um, you know, I, I'll, sp I, I'll, I'll speak in like the third person, but Mayhem, essentially, he um, found a way to get rid of all these people from the league in one shot. And um, everybody knows how we all love portals. Um, LNL is no stranger to portals. Yes. What I see in Wicked Wars League, other leagues as well. But um, he basically found this device. And I'm not sure if the device is, is similar to the puzzle box. I think maybe there's a connection between a device Mayhem used in my world in Wicked City versus the actual puzzle box in LNL. But um, he did open this device and it opened up a portal. And he pushed everybody in through this portal and sent them on their way. But unfortunately for Mayhem, a hand reached out and grabbed him. And um, it looked like it was Balin. No one's really sure. But he got pulled into that portal. So whatever happened after that, I'm not exactly sure. But he did end up in the world of the LNL after the fact. Nice. So so we can shoot down the rumor that it was the Dark Judges? Yeah, you can kill that rumor right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a fork who, who in that said, one. Who said that? A, who said that? It was a genius that came up with that one. Oh, man. 
so last much for uh, so much for Balance Insider. You yeah. know, his, 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 his last insider. I heard... <laughs> <laughs> last I heard, the judges were vending popcorn at Wicked City Arena, so nice. I, I doubt they had anything to do with it. <laughs> Nice. They they moved they moved up. They moved up from 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 drip drip sodas. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I mean, hey, I mean, what a, what a nice guy mayhem is to keep him employed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm a good, I'm a nice guy. You know, they serve their purposes sometimes. You know, when I need somebody out, I summon a portal and you know send them on their way. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> did you, did but yeah, you, we, we we haven't officially discussed any matches yet, but definitely, I mean, you can kind of kind of guess. The people that are going to be involved. Oh, absolutely! Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to end up being the best of the best versus yeah. you know. It's one of those scenarios. We can yeah, we I can mean, definitely have we can definitely have uh, the Fortune Men runners uh, come and uh, try and uh, rescue uh, uh, Barbie, aka Frankie. <laughs> so we can we can we, you, you do you, do you know Barbie's in the UNL right now? Oh, really? Under under a disguised name, yeah. Oh, oh God! Yeah, what, what what do you know about Barbie, uh, Commissioner, uh, ma'am? Oh, I know. What, 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 what well, Barbie? About the, Barbie? If, you, if you're talking yeah. about the Barbie that's tied to Striker, then I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so tell tell our listeners well, t- who's Barbie. From, from well, from my understanding, um, and I, I've heard this recently. Actually, Striker is about to come back to the Wicked Wars League. As soon as, I don't know if it's this cycle or the cycle after, but I've been in negotiations to bring him back along with Barbie. Barbie's his best friend. Barbie's the one that causes havoc. <laughs> now, now, Barbie is a uh, tall blonde with uh, beautiful, luscious... Nice spikes. <laughs> nice spikes. <laughs> Barbie's similar to Frankie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Barbie think... Barbie is Frank. That's they're right. one in the same. They're, they're one in the same. So that, 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 that story arc is... Uh, Getting ready to unravel uh, oh, nice. during this during this crossover, so should nice. be nice how these should be nice how these <laughs> should be nice how these characters uh, play it out and uh, see who ends up with it. <laughs> That's gonna be something, but um, but yeah, again, it's it's definitely gonna be best of the best. I'm I'm gonna send my best people against obviously Brandon's best people in the league, and um, obviously you know my cast of characters. We you know for six man, I'll probably send Crypt Keepers. You already know the the in ridiculous streak the Crypt Keepers have been on in the WWL. They've pretty much been undefeated for the last half, I think ten cycles or something like right. that. Flip, and um, you know they just recently won the commissioner titles for six man. Um, definitely Extreme Survivor is going to be a part of that. Uh, Mike Pizzazz probably be a part of that. Um, I know there are some women also, so I'm pretty much going to send, you know, the Black Widow, Denise Destiny is going to have a part of that, probably Eva Danger. So, um, you know, I I'm, might give Vicious Valentino his big spot. <laughs> you know, Flip, how we love Valentino. Who? So he might, <laughs> I knew you were going to say oh, that. Geez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't start your shit flip. Oh, but, um, I definitely, I definitely, pretty much know exactly who I'm gonna send after the LNL guy. So we'll, we'll discuss yeah. further. Now, gonna... vicious, vicious Valentino is AKA uh, Silver Bullet. No, two totally different people. You see, flip, you never pay attention. Fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Was it? Didn't he like go to the transformation and get dipped in steam All to right, come out? Though. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I think you got sucked in a portal. Oh, man. Vicious Vinny Valentino, will you do something to become more relevant in my... Uh, do something. I think like, Frankenstein. Is... Frankenstein's been uh, operating on Flip. I think so. Oh, yeah, Frankenstein is going under the AKA of Coors. Of course. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man. God bless Frankenstein. Oh, Squirt a little bit of Sadako's blood into the. Oh yeah. The there you oh, go. Yeah. Nice. Son, son, now, well, son gotta give. So we we got that to look forward to in the upcoming cycles, man. So everyone, uh, if you're interested, uh, you know, you know, check out the UNL uh, Facebook page. Excuse me, the LNL Facebook. The UNL, page. yes, because they're hyping this pay per view huge. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Thanks, Commissioner. Hey, thanks, Commissioner Anderson, for hyping the WWL LNL pay per view. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks, thanks. Nice, nice. But Put if up, you want the real up. information, go over to the LNL. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Next cycle will be the RWL. They'll throw some information yeah. out there too. Nice. 
Yeah, I would say check out the WWE, but I have a, this is a closed group, so only the people in my league can see it. But um, you know, I do, and Brandon, you are aware that a lot of times I basically put some of the stuff that's in the report on your end. I put it on my page just to keep everybody, you know, up to date yeah. with the storyline, and they're loving that right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, any, anything you want to post on the LNL uh, site, L- LNL page, feel free. Oh, it. actually, it's funny you mentioned that. I do got something. I'll probably send it over tonight. Nice. <laughs> nice. I know your your picture of uh, your picture of uh, Spike Pratt's head sitting next to uh, Sadaku uh, got rave reviews. Oh, nice! <laughs> With the I, was hoping it it. <laughs> I was hoping it would. <laughs> so we can confirm that uh, Spike Pratt is not the head that's in the box, but I think people are going to be shocked when they when they Goldstein, do see who's Goldstein's head. not going to give it back. He's the head on the couch. <laughs> yeah, he's the head of the couch, not the head of the box. <laughs> oh man, poor Spike. Poor Spike. Poor Spike. But yes, you know what? Uh, I thought I thought I thought uh, Reverend Boswell went through you know hell by you know by what he went through. Poor Spike is going through hell and more. <laughs> yeah, we got we got our mileage out of Spike over the oh. last uh, you know <laughs> six cycles or whatever. So. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so, so yeah, th- this pay per view is going to be awesome. It's it's like another thing where we want to, yeah, obviously as commissioners, give as much extra stuff besides the yeah. normal stuff that we can. So when we can do these crossover events, you know, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Now, um, speaking of uh, looking forward to this, uh, obviously you guys did mention before we recorded that we're looking to do possibly champion versus champion. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, who who are our uh, current LNL champions? If uh... Uh, let me get it right here. So, our underworld champion, which is the main title, is the Sinister Bagul, and he does have a big match coming up uh, at the pay per view. Our pay per view, our uh, LNL pay per view body count is not this cycle; it's next cycle. It'll be uh, uh, cycle seventy, and he'll be involved in a three way. So we'll see. Should he come out of that as a champion, then he'll be uh, the one going on to the joint pay per view. But, uh, yes, Underworld Champion is the Sinister Bagul. The Terror Tag Team Champions are – we have new Terror Tag Team Champions. Oh, no Jacob, way. Jacob Goodnight and Rex uh, – Rawhead Rex. Dude, that is a long reign. That was what? That was 27, 27 cycles? <laughs> it was long. It was probably before I even got to the LNL. Not even commissioners wow. before I even got there. I'm I'm curious. So, I'm I'm curious. We'll we'll, we'll ask uh, the former commissioner uh, when when that reign actually started. But yeah, as long as I've been there, they've been champs. So right. you can tell I've been, uh, you can tell yeah. I've been useless trying to take that belt away. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you know, in, in full disclosure, um, you know, we completely ripped off uh, Mr. Anderson as far as the way the tag team titles are defended, where you have to beat the champions the first cycle in a non-title match. And then the next cycle, if you beat them, you get the title match. Right. So we had four teams that had a shot at Jason and Michael, and they all actually defeated Jason and Michael. And uh, uh, Rex and Jacob Goodnight defeated them by the most points. So that they are the new Terror Tag Team Champions. So they, I, anybody I wants they, to fight for those belts, it's time to fight them this cycle, non-title matches. It's been a long time coming because, I mean – I I had either pictured you know one of the combination of the patients or maybe even uh, uh, you know some someone from the catfish group to take yeah. those titles from those guys a long time ago. But wow, yeah, they held on. Yeah, and remember whoever whoever is the Terra Tag Team Champions, they are the ones that get the shot at the bronze uh, the bronze Knights Tag Team titles. So. Nice. Now um, now now we don't we yes. don't get shots we don't get shots at. Uh, at the bronze uh, age, because uh, we have them, or is that? Or, or well, yeah, you make it. You make it. Well, we do get we can do get shots at them. They still come here because, I mean, it's probably the only person that are going to beat them are other L and L superstars. You know what I mean? Oh, I love the confidence, Commissioner. I love the confidence. I'm, I'm going to throw it out right now. You know, we talked a little bit about how Sadako uh, retained the bronze conqueror title yet again. Unless it is somebody from the LNL that defeats Sadako, I am going to predict Sadako's reign will last th- at least through the entire summer. Oh, call calling it right now! Damn, that's a bad that, bitch. 
That's my confidence. <laughs> she, dude, yes. she's been she's been holding it down. Yes. So, with that being said, though, our colossal champion is um, Sadako Sieki. Look at that, the segue. So she was yeah. she, she defeated she, she defeated Doctor Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yes. Nice. Which uh, yeah, they, they've the had colossal... a little bit of a. They've had a little bit of a back and forth going, you know, just with the, her, them taking the blood. He actually beat her at the last pay per view. Now she got a little bit of revenge this time. Nice. Um, now the uh, the colossal title is our uh, open open challenge. So if anybody wants colossal wants... title, anybody can fight him. You just have to trash talk the same cycle you fight him. Does not have to be trash talk about the colossal title. It can be about whatever. It can be about the colossal title. But uh, yeah, and the winner of the colossal title gets five free matches. Nice. The Anarchy Champion, Blade retained for the second cycle in a row. That um, son of a dude! All of a sudden, dude, we 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 talk about him for one cycle, and all of a sudden he's winning. Man, he's rolling, he better, man. He a, dude, he a fire on his ass. Well, yep. hopefully the fire, uh, you know, kind of you know gets him trash talking also because his hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Blade. Uh, yeah, so in order to get the Anarchy title, we're kind of doing the bullseye deal where we started at the bottom of the regional titles and we start moving, you know, up. So last cycle, it was Sam, who still kept his title, yep. but the one that defeated Sam by the most points was Queen Melody. She beat Sam by two, so now she goes on to face Blade this cycle. Oh, no wonder. So people were beating him, but just winning a top, a higher title. I, th- I think he only lost two matches mm. to people ahead of him, Blade and Melody. Hey, you know what though? He that still held on to the title. Bitch. Gotta love it, huh, Flip? Yeah. Sorry, you still sis. held on to. <laughs> <laughs> coming, we're coming. For... Now, but now, okay. So now, uh, just, so now, uh, if you want a shot at the Anarchy title this cycle, you have to fight the Transylvania champion, which is the Swamp Monster. He's he's the one with the bullseye this cycle. So nice, nice. Fight the Swamp Monster. And then lastly, the Terror title, which is our newer title, the Battle Royal winner gets to face the Terror champion. So the Sinister Bagul also has the Terror title. He'll be defending this cycle against uh, Foxwoman Santana. So that's a huge main event right there. Nice. Um, But yeah, so if you want to compete for the Terror title, just enter the Battle Royal. And you can see entering the Battle Royal, look how many people on the title page uh, won titles from the Battle Royal. So. It pays off. It does. Spend the dollar. Hey, speaking of spend the dollar, (laughs) we have a huge event coming up for the Bronze Age called Clash of the Bronze Age. I know you've seen us talk about it. It is $1 to enter one wrestler. We're trying to get, I mean, by the time it's done, we will have 16 wrestlers from each league. Um, If we're short wrestlers, we may offer it up to where you could enter more than one. And... It's going to basically be kind of kind of like a lethal lottery event. So where we got one per, the teams will be drawn at random. We have one person from the LNL, one person from the UNL, and one person from the RWL. We'll kind of do it tournament style. We get down to the last team, throw a bunch of free matches at that winning team, and then the winning team fights it out, and the winner gets 50 bucks in IWA credit. Sweet. So, spend the dollar. One the dollar. dollar. Clash, clash of the clash of the bronze. Uh, now, clash of the bronze. Uh, right. Dead deadline is next cycle. So yes, we've extended. I think it's going to be through May. Okay. So you can send it in this cycle, um, and next cycle, and then we'll get it and started. We've already we've determined that. Uh, they're going to add up the totals of the team, so no flow necessary. So it's just going to be the grand total of the three fighters yeah. to, for the tournament-style aspect of the... Yes. Nice. Clash of the Bronze. Um, in, the, in the interest of not making it too overly complicated, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, now, we got a pay-per-view uh, coming in-house. Uh, do we have the card set for... Uh... So for that? yeah, so or do you want to go, or do you want to go over Terravision uh, first? Um, we can go over Terravision first, but and then we'll go over the pay per view. So Terravision eight, uh, 
a lot of head in the box qualifiers because I'm trying to, I think by the time this coming cycle is over, everybody in the league that was act that's been active lately um, will have been in part of the head in the box qualifier. I wanted to try and include everybody. So the uh, first match for the Anarchy title, we talked about this a little bit ago. Blade the Vampire Hunter, he's been on a roll. He defeated the legendary Catface Rob. Uh, the head in the box qualifier number one, Claude Holiday, Squeaky, and Leatherface. Who do you think won this one, Flip? Squeaky, of course. Squeaky did. Sneaking into that head in the box match. Nice. Uh, next up, uh, another head in the box qualifier, Skexo, Patient Z, and Akuma Siaki. <laughs> and your favorite member of the Skexus was victorious. Skexo moves on to the head in the box match. Nice. Glad to, glad to have the Skexies back around here active. Yes. Uh, head in the box qualifier number three, the Swamp Monster versus Warblaze versus the Countess Jade. The Swamp Monster was victorious. That son of a bitch. <laughs> and then the last uh, qualifier for the month, Sam, the three-time champion versus Queen Melody versus Misa Siecki. Well, Queen Melody came out victorious in this one. Damn. Like, like you said, out of, the, out of everybody that would just edge them out, Queen Melody would, have to, be in, would have to be in his qualifier. <laughs> right. Oh, and then that... uh, the terror title was not defended this cycle because Bagul, he won the Battle Royal, so he basically eliminated his own competition. That son of a... You know what? Yes. Ever, since he's, ever since he's been back, he's been on fire, man. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely been tearing it up. Not that I wish that he would never came back, but... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man! Save some gold for the rest of us bums. Nice. <laughs> oh, so body counts, the pay per view uh, matches so far for that uh, best of five series. Johnny Five versus RoboCat. Yes, kicking it off uh, in a pit of fire match. Warblaze is taking on the Fox Woman. Ooh, nice. And then in a Thunderdome match, Wolfman Joe versus the Brave Mor- Morbius versus Blade the Vampire Hunter. Dude, you see, see, this is the kind of match, uh, commissioners, that you got somebody that's trying to save and keep another person alive. You got another son of a bitch trying to kill the person that's trying to keep this person alive. And you got the person that's being saved and being kept alive, believing that both people are coming to kill him. So <laughs> crazy. It's just, dude. All Morbius wants to do is protect Wolfman Joe from from you know these evil scientists around here, and it's just getting kind of hard around here, man. Then you got you know people trying to collect your body parts, and you got people named Sam. I mean, how scary is that? <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like Wolfman uh, Joe is just a selfish son of a bitch to me. You know what I he, mean? He, you know what? He, it's starting to feel that way, man. It's just like, come on, bro. Just allow your, you know, allow yourself to be saved and be helped, and we'll, we'll get through this alive yes. together. Live and let live. Live and let live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then, in the the co-main event, the Underworld title is on the line. The Sinister Bagul will be taking on Aiden, the Heartless Brimstone. And the legendary Catfish Rob in a three-way. Uh, Catfish Rob won a chance to the, hop in this match. And Aiden actually defeated the Sinister Bagul in a non-title match at the last pay-per-view. So, it's, uh, I think yeah, any, just anybody to, has a chance in this one. J- just to give everybody a little bit of, uh, of, of what, ha- what happened, you know, when, uh, uh, obviously when, uh, when Balin took over the league. You know, everything kind of went, you know, topsy-turvy. You know, the uncertainty of who who the real Underworld champion was and would, would be, you know, with uh, Balin starting his tournament kind of led us to believe that, you know, you know everything was going to be moved into this new era. And then out of left field, here comes Sinister Bagul cashing in, you know, his uh, rotten head in the box. And to our surprise, you know, Balin played ball he was he, he didn't you know deny it he's like all right you know what it's something from the previous uh you know previous people and instead of you know denying him the right of uh acknowledging it it he allowed it to play and then yeah, now we got this wonderful you know three-way tangle that is going to include the winner of uh 
that mini tournament that Balin uh, had already in, in, initiated along with, you know, this uh, son of a bitch that cashed in his uh, <laughs> his head <laughs> in the box and uh, kind of just won his way into this uh, into this match. I mean, Catfish wasn't happy, let me tell you. Catfish called him a cheater, called him dirty, <laughs> called him the lowest of the low. I mean, below trash. I mean, I mean, you're just... You know, and Catfish with no trash because he does hang out with a fox woman. You know what I mean? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. bad commissioner! Oh man, that's that's, that's, that's war. That's war blaze talking. Oh, this is the legend around here. Yeah. So yeah, Bagul definitely let that uh the the, the head collect a little bit of funk on it because oh. he 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 had that probably close to a year, I would say, and that. We've kind of reconfirmed that that's the, the you can you can cash it in whenever, but uh, a year is the max. So next year, this time is the longest you can uh, hold on to it. But so the head in the box match, that's our other uh, co-main event. It's going to have 12, uh, 12 wrestlers competing in it, or twelve monsters competing in it, actually. And so far, we have 10. The last two will be determined this coming cycle. But the 10 people that are in it so far, we have Skexo, the Swamp Monster, Squeaky, Queen Melody, the Duchess Talon, Provis, Patient Y, Foxman Rob, Ted Radford, nice. and Blade. <laughs> It's, so. it's 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 brewing up, Commissioner. It's brewing up. Yeah, we'll add two more to the mix this cycle, and then we'll be good to go. If there's anybody else that wants any pay per view matches, uh, you know, call somebody out. We can add it to the card. Yeah, I mean, uh, who who's Sam? Who's Sam seeing at the pay per view? You might find <laughs> out tonight. Uh-oh. Huh? Huh? No, oh, we, we have you f- find out tonight. This is live on air. Don't 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 go running now. <laughs> yeah. Like what I said, hell? you'll find out tonight. Oh, Sam, Sam, I, can't, you know I can't spoil everything on here. I got to give something for the page. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> dual promotions, dual promotions. Uh, oh man! All right. Well, yeah, well, you can't run forever, Sam. Or at least I, I <laughs> at least I hope you can't run forever. <laughs> Sam Sam doesn't see, look like a like he runs too fast. No, he's pretty, pretty slow actually. I would yeah I would just you know hey you know just yeah I don't think he moves too quick. He's, see you, you know, know you know what it is the die the die the die crew they they're kind of they kind of worrisome when it comes to to some of these pay per view matches because I, if you recall the last time one of my guys actually did um he, he requested a, a very interesting match stipulation that apparently they you know. The recipient ran away from it. That was the infamous autopsy match that got turned down. So, you know, now <laughs> they got to be careful with who they choose and what kind of stipulations because it seems like some of these monsters are a little bit scared. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, the, 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 thing, the thing about this place, like like Bigfoot, Bigfoot has uh, been cut up, slashed up a couple of times, and uh, he's starting to realize that he's, you know, pretty much like uh, – a supreme being like he just wakes up the next day so the other day he was just like you know doing the groundhog day thing where he was just trying to like kill himself on purpose <laughs> and you know he was just like dude this is awesome god bless the living nightmare league you know i can get cut up i can get slashed up and you can get a so. sweet tattoo yeah you know? <laughs> he was yeah he was all he was rocking a, a lightsaber tattoo for a while and he wouldn't sleep so it just wouldn't go away and then he realized that all he had to do is knock out. <laughs> I got, I got an idea that I'm working on as, to, to kind of, as far as that goes, as far as like if a character, a character dies kind of deal. I, I'm, I'm working on it uh, to use, use, you know, storyline wise. So we'll see. I don't know. Nice. I don't know have, when I'm going to have it out there. But... We're going to have the chalkboard with the death. Like how many times you've died. Like the, How many that times you've died cool. in, in, in story, in storylines. Yes. Like how many times. Have... Oh, no. We can, we can track we can, we can track it like stars, you know how many stars nice. you have. Be how, how many, many deaths you have? <laughs> there you go, little, 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 little skulls. Yes, awesome. there you there go, little crossbones, little crossbones. How many can you? <laughs> that would be oh. awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what you gonna call it? Uh, a lot going, a lot going on, a lot uh. going on. 
Yeah, I tell you this too. One about the pay per view. So if you this coming cycle is cycle sixty nine, the month before the pay per view, and the bronze knights of the bronze age who also reside in the LNL Otis Gruiser and Claude Holiday will be traveling to the RWL to face the, the Blitz, Blitz sisters. sisters. Yeah. I'm not going to say they're as trashy as the Fox woman, but yeah, I've heard rumors, <laughs> but either way, either way, that would mean cycle 70. The month of our pay-per-view. Sadako will be bringing the Bronze Conqueror title home to the LNL to face the sinister Bagul. So uh, maybe that match shows up on the paper. Maybe Bagul's going to have to pull double duty. He'll have to oh, challenge nice. for the Bronze Conqueror, and he may have to have his match. He have his uh, three-way title match. Hey, so we'll if this, we'll if see this what happens. Best for business. <laughs> yes. And, you know, Balin, like I said, while he absolutely enjoyed the way Bagul cashed in the title, even though it kind of of pissed him off a little bit at first, but then he could sit, he kind of sit back and enjoy it. If he has the opportunity to stick it to Bagul, Hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's not the smartest guy. He's more hell-bent on revenge and stuff, so. It's like, put him him through the ringer. Put him through the ringer. (laughs) Yes. But, yeah, it's all like, yeah. This cycle, we'll see what's going on. We'll see. Is, did did it, um, Mayhem talk his way out? You know, we shall, we shall see what so find out. No one's safe. Ugh. No one. You know what? I'm all, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when this is all said and done. Who has uh, a bat named Frankie? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Walk, I'm walking oh, out. Okay. I'm walking out. I'm walking out with my bat. He may have started it way back before I even knew him. But <laughs> when when all this is said and done, he's gonna lose Barbie. He's gonna, oh, re- nice. he's gonna be named Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot, right? Oh, it's that one. Oh yeah, Bigfoot, Bigfoot, and if uh, if the Fortune Men runners want to defend uh, Striker's honor, you know they can they can defend. If Striker comes back, then Striker can uh, step in the ring with uh, with uh, Bigfoot himself. Let's see. And have to pry that. They're gonna have to pry. (laughs) They're gonna have to pry that bat out of his mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Did we mention to flip the rules of the the pay per view? That uh, what you call it? You got to put the Xbox controller down and write some trash talk. Yep. (laughs) Nice. I love it. That's the that's the caveat. Oh oh, dang it! Trash talk required. You 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 know what we should start doing? We should start. Taking points away in the in the stats for uh, non trash talk. <laughs> right, negative five negative, points. Uh, negative five points. That's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> striker's gonna show up with Barbie, and uh, Bigfoot's gonna show up with an Xbox controller and his own. Hey, who's Bigfoot got at the at the next pay per view? Sam. Sam. <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Sam, Sam Is that a- so? Sam has it coming. Unless you want Squeaky, you know, but... Fuck Squeaky. Yeah, Squeaky Squeaky's in the head in the box. You don't want to put too much pressure on Squeaky to have to wrestle multiple matches. Do you think Squeaky's going to wrestle? He's going to stay a, a, a three, you know, three-inch rat <laughs> hide under the ring until it's all said and done and then come back out when it's all <laughs> safe. When it's all safe. <laughs> ah. <sighs> And then we're gonna find out whose head's in the box. That's gonna it's gonna be interesting. I think I think it's gonna shock some people. Oh, so yeah, it should be good. And then just going forward after that, you know, like I said, uh, got the joint pay per view, and we've already had uh, we already have the, the, the crowd has uh, invaded the building here. Nice. <laughs> um, what you gonna call it? Uh, Doctor Frankenstein has also already said that he is looking for the Underworld title. He hasn't had it in a while. He's looking to come back for it. Oh, man. Nice. So, I now, expect a big uh, year from him. Have you, have you uh, after after this title defense, I know we kind of were uh, juggling the exchange uh, from one. Uh, yes. From one, uh, you know, one commissioner to the other. But have you uh, finalized in terms of how you want to move forward with uh, defending the underworld? Yes. So the way the way I've been doing it, or the way I've 
behind the scenes have been doing it is uh, what we're going to do is every, basically every three cycles, the um, whoever has the highest strategy average will be the number one contender to the underworld title. Because that we kind of set this up storyline wise for this coming pay-per-view, I decided the first time I would average out over five cycles and then cut it back to three after that. Because nice. that way, if you do three, and we say we defend the t- that title at every pay-per-view, every pay-per-view is every five cycles. So you do three cycles, then you know the average, and then you got two cycles to build up the pay-per-view, kind of, or a cycle and a half or whatever to build up the pay-per-view. Perfect. Eh, we'll see. That see how it works nice. out. See, uh, see how many we got. Um, but, Doc, but like speaking of Frankenstein, like I said, you know he kind of called it out that he was going to be the next one. He had the, he had the paranormal title, you know, a couple cycles ago. So he's uh, he's definitely going to be in the mix. So now now no one no one seems to have a a grip on this uh, haunted grounds uh, uh, contest. I mean, this is. I mean, we got, we got, I mean, which makes for great diversity. I mean, we've had some yeah. great diversity over the beginning of the year, but it's still up for grabs. Oh, it's, it's definitely still up for grabs. Um, a lot, uh, one thing that I, I noticed, like, you know, Sam had retained uh, his title three cycles in a row, and mm-hmm. uh, Catfish uh, had just def- uh, retained his title two cycles in a row. So, right there, I mean, that's two titles that, nobody was able to get at the same aspect that's also those guys didn't get any more titles so it's kind of it, it's very it's very open you know and that's going to roll you know probably through the whole year and uh by the time we get to the end if nobody has claimed all the titles then we will just whoever whoever's the closest to it which is kind of how we did it last year nice and then there's another big event that i got planned i've i've kind of wanted to talk about it but I wanted to have the prize for it, you know, in hand so I could show it off when I announced the event. Hmm. But due to the, you know, the world going to shit right now, um, yeah. I, you know, everything's the, been the, placed the, on hold. <laughs> yeah. The, the, well, the, the, <laughs> the, the place that I had, uh, you know, constructing this thing, uh, you know, they're not working right now. So that's kind of, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe next cycle we'll announce it. Um, but it'll probably be like a midsummer kind of event. And like I said before, the prize is going to be very cool. It's going to be not a title belt, not a plaque, huh. but it's going to be something you can display. Nice. So that'll yeah, be cool. I it'll I, be a, I, it, I it's a free event. Wait. No charge. I can't wait to that one. Yeah. Was it going to be a real life head in a box? Hi, that one. Yeah, right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Here you go. As my last act as commissioner before I go to jail. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. If Flip doesn't. If Flip doesn't put those controllers down and write some trash talk, it might be a hand in the box. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, hey, hey, hey! All you need is the thumbs. Easy there. <laughs> yeah, you can type with your four fingers, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As long as you can type, we're good. Yeah, you just as long as you take away the joysticks, you you know. Right. Uh huh. You still oh, got you, you still got time for my report. Hint, hint. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah. especially, now, especially now that I won. <laughs> <laughs> now you can talk some oh, shit. Finally, only trash talking on winning cycles. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. So now I know every six cycles I get something from Flip. Oh. oh, dude, uh, that's that's a higher average than you you you're giving me. Hey, <laughs> Brent, this guy's still searching for his first regional since he joined the league. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know I gotta fuck with you, Flip. Of course, of course. That's why Sam's head's gonna be rolling soon. That's, like... <laughs> that's where. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but. Uh... Uh, what you call it? Uh, my 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 good friend, uh, uh, Senor uh, uh, Mr. Fantastico, right? Oh yeah. Or did I did I just butcher his name? No no no, El, El oh, Fantastico. El, Ma, El Mas Fantastico. Fantastico. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's open to Wicked Wars. Yep. Oh yeah. 
Por la paz. That, that's way Brandon. Brandon knows uh, that cast and crew from uh, from the MML days. So yeah, well, yes. I, I forgot they were on the roster. To be honest with you, but <laughs> <laughs> those guys still around. Well, well, you last can, I saw them, they won a bill carton. You can you can take an extra closer look at and just you know Google rivalry or or go on your Google find and go rivalry and the wicked wars. Uh, uh, and, and that's all you got to know. That's all you got to know. I don't. I, yeah, hey, hey, you, you don't want to know the stuff that's happened, Brandon, to these guys in my league. Uh, so you know what <laughs> he he showed me. He showed me uh, perfect those new outfits. <laughs> He's, he's, he's like, like what I was talking about. He goes, "Have you seen Perfecto?" Or he goes, "You want to see Perfecto's new outfit?" He goes, "He looks a little different since the last time you seen him." Uh, I'm just uh, like, "Wow!" <laughs> yeah, get crazy in a WWO. That's for sure. Oh, good times, good times. Oh, I may, yes. I, may, I may have to send uh, Malik there to to kind of smack him around a little bit, flip and say, just, what, just, the just hell? A, what the where, hell are you my, guys doing? Where's my buddy oh, Fantastical? Fantastic, what in the hell is Perfecto wearing? That'll make for an interesting angle. Oh, good times, good times. All right, guys, are we uh, are, are we going to put anything else on this one? What uh, what are we... Uh, I know we're, we're right at about 45 minutes on this one. Just uh, did you want to try and get some of the trash talk into this one, or... What do you what do you think? Um, well, I mean, how are you guys looking time wise? Because we can almost like run the trash gonna, talk or on this one. So you guys can continue. I'll probably gonna have to sign off on this one. Okay, let's uh, let, we'll we'll sign off on this one. Then we'll come back and do another little trash talk, kind of like uh, rip through. So, okay. uh, you've been listening to the special guest, uh, Commissioner of the Wicked Wars League, the Gold Motherfucking Standard, Melvin Mayhem. Commissioner of the Living Nightmare League, Brandon Madden, and myself, IWA Flip. We'll hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 Flip, before we sign off, I want, I want to say something. So you usually ask if you guys have any last words, which you completely forgot to do because you're useless. Not on these podcasts. Not on these podcasts. But in, in, in all seriousness, since the, I don't know when's the next time I'll be on this LNL show. I just want to, um, this is actually to you, Brandon. I just want to congratulate you on how you've, you know, had the league going in such a great direction since you've taken over. Uh, you're one of the reasons I actually came back to join the LNL. And um, you flip, you know how I am when it comes to commissioners, man. There are some commissioners out there that I feel are very underwhelming and don't really perform the way they should for the managers in their league. But um, I got to commend you for what you're doing with the Living Nightmare League. And I'm hoping that it continues. And I'm really looking forward to the things we have down the pipeline. So kudos to you and the way you're running the league. And I just need to let you know that before I sign off this show. I definitely uh, appreciate that for sure. Um, yeah, what's my call? I'm excited for uh, all the things, all the things to come. Um, it's definitely cool. Like I said, you you being a, a founding member of the league to come on here. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was. It, I think I don't think we mentioned this on here, but it was funny because uh, you know Melvin sends me a message one day and he's like, "Hey, I got to run something by you." But you can't tell anybody even flip, you know. And yeah. I'm like, okay. It's like <laughs> sworn to secrecy, you know. And he's like, you know, your league's a, you know, R-rated league. His league. I mean, I, I would be disrespecting you if I called it an R-rated league. It's like uh, definitely <laughs> a, what, AO adults only, you know. Um, and, and it might be too extreme for some adults. So, yeah. but I mean, yeah, it, it fits. It fits perfect, you know. The, because a lot of craziness goes on in his league, a lot of craziness in our league. So it definitely fits perfect, and I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, this pay-per-view and anything that may go down in the future. Absolutely, man. It's definitely definitely a pleasure doing this collaboration with you. And, and, and one thing I will say is while I, I do I do definitely do enjoy doing the commissioning of the LNL, and uh, it was my definitely my first uh, commissioning gig, and while I think I can write pretty good content – Obviously, the graphics. I am not a Flip or a Melvin. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they they put out when, when Flip does put out graphics. No, I'm just kidding. Flip. Oh, thanks. No, no. Every seven cycles, but yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, every seven cycles. <laughs> yeah, no. That, that was one thing I remember coming back to the IWA in the MML and seeing the the stuff Flip had going on because he was commissioner at the time, and I'm just like, holy shit! You know, this shit has changed since I was here last. You know what I mean? And uh, same thing with Melvin stuff, you know, 
Flip used to, he would cut out little things of the bulletin you know, for the WWL and shoot it over to me. And, uh, you know, Melvin, you sent me some stuff too. And it's uh, awesome stuff. You guys do an awesome stuff with the graphics. And I know you've contributed graphics to the LNL. And everybody's like, oh, I know Brandon didn't do that shit, you know. <laughs> so, But it's awesome. And I'll, I'll throw him in there anytime. You know what I mean? You guys, you do a phenomenal job with your, uh, with your uh, report. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. And anytime you need any kind of graphics, man, definitely hit me up. You want me to do some like guest artwork or somebody has an idea, shoot it by me and I'll put it together for them. It's actually easier for LNL because of the cast of characters you guys got. So there's a lot of right. source material I pull from to create things. So if you guys ever, that goes for any manager in the LNL. If you guys want something, run it through Brandon. He'll you know pitch it to me and I'll put something together for you and shoot it back. And then you just got to add whatever they want to write to it. So definitely open for that. And with that being said, though, we're still going to take the WWL down at the pay-per-view and the dark track uh, is going to take a beat. <laughs> Listen, I told you already the judges are going to be selling popcorn. They're not hey, participating hey. in no, the pay-per-view. No one is safe. Popcorn <laughs> vendors and all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, good times, guys. All right, all guys. Right. You guys uh, take it easy. Sign off. Be safe out there, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.